U.S. jobless claims fell to 881,000 new claims last week. It's the second time we've seen fewer than a million new claims a week since March. However, layoffs around the country remain elevated. In fact, Alicia Nieves shows us some are suggesting that unemployment numbers are about to go back up as more people are expected to lose their jobs for a second time. The United States is at the beginning of a second wave of significant job loss. We're seeing a resurgence in layoffs. Daniel Alpert is a professor and senior fellow at Cornell University. Cornell just published a study showing about a third of the people who went back to work during the pandemic now have been laid off a second time. Another 26% of workers have been warned by their employers that future furloughs and layoffs may soon come. The problem is that you get an echo. Right. So if you have a resurgence in layoffs, you have a, resur a, a decrease in spending that creates more contraction in, in, on the part of businesses, which creates more layoffs. Right. So the question is, when can you put a floor under this uh, spiraling situation? And it is a classic economic spiral. The cycle of job loss eventually leading to more job loss, some fear, could lead to a third wave of unemployment in a few months. Experts like Alpert believe the only way to stop the cycle would be a vaccine or Congress coming together on another stimulus package that props up households and businesses until then. We're very concerned about the current roller coaster effect on resumed resume layoffs, but longer term, we are really scared about seeing huge numbers, tens of millions of businesses vanish. The more waves of unemployment we see, the higher likelihood of that. I'm Alicia Nieves reporting.